Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we're going to learn about creating a material list in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise, you'll create a material list which defines the quantity takeoff criteria and surfaces to compare during an earthworks analysis. A material list is required to generate either an earthworks volume report or a mass hall diagram. A material list specifies the existing ground and datum surface to compare and is saved with the sample line properties. This exercise continues from reviewing quantity takeoff criteria and report settings. So let's go about creating a material list. Go ahead and open up your Earthworks one drawing in your tutorials folder. And when the drawing opens, you'll notice that there are three viewports. Go ahead and go up to the Analyze tab, and then over to the Volume and Materials panel. Select Compute Materials. In the Select Sample Line Group dialog box, specify the following parameters. The alignment that we're going to select is the center line. And for the Select Sample Line Group, we're going to leave it at its default. SLG-1. Now go ahead and click OK. The Compute Materials dialog box is now displayed, showing a list of all the items defined in the selected criteria. Now verify that the quantity takeoff criteria is set to Earthworks. In the table, make sure that Surfaces has been expanded. This shows Surfaces e.g. and datum. Next, you'll set the actual object names that define those surfaces. In the object column for e.g., go ahead and click the box and select e.g. from the list. Now, next to datum, select corridor datum. In the earthwork criteria settings, e.g is set as the base surface and datum is set as the compare surface. The object name fields specify which object calls for both an EG surface as the base and a datum surface as the comparison. This criteria can be used with multiple projects and corridors. The object name fields in the Compute Materials dialog box Define a specific surface and corridor surface to map to the names in the Earthworks criteria. Go ahead and click OK. In the drawing, notice the cut and fill areas in each section are shaded. Hover your cursor over the shaded areas and notice the information that's displayed. So that's how you go about creating a material list in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.